Study Designs in Pharmacoepidemiology Ecological Study Part 3 Learning Objectives Understand the concept of ecological fallacy Identify drawbacks of ecological design Ecological bias Often cited weakness of ecological studies Causes Within group confounding Ecological estimates even more biased Confounding by group, unexposed rate of disease varies and is correlated with ecological exposure. For example, AIDS patients acquiring resistant infection from others. Effect modification by group and on additive scale. Rate difference for the exposure effect at individual's level varies across groups. Another example, AIDS patients more likely to get de novo resistance at low antibiotic level. Ecological fallacy is a very famous term in ecological studies, and it's very important to understand. It refers to the bias that might occur because an association observed between variables on aggregate level does not necessarily represent the association that exists at the individual level. So, I'm conducting a study to assess the relationship between vancomycin use and vancomycin-resistant enterococcus at ecological study design. I found that hospitals that used vancomycin had higher rates of vancomycin-resistant enterococcus. Ecological fallacy occurred if this result, if this conclusion is applied at individual level. So, when in the, uh, ecological fallacy will happen if I said the following if I said okay based on this study patients who take vancomycin are prone to vancomycin resistant enterococcus this is where ecological fallacy occurred now I'm making conclusions applicable to individual level to patient level based on data from ecological study this is wrong all the conclusions should be made on individual level. In order to validate this result, you should conduct an individual level data. So, the basic problem of ecological study design is that we start with individual level, we aggregate data, a lot of the data are uh, lost by aggregation. Let's look at this study, Finnish Macrolide study, very famous study. The study based, was based on the high uh, erythromycin resistance rate in 1990. So, accordingly, a nationwide effort to decrease outpatient macrolide prescription from 1991 started. However, the total antibiotic use remained stable. So, they assessed the exposure, defined daily dose of erythromycin or any other uh, macrolide, and the outcome was erythromycin-resistant throat pus samples used several methods to ensure reliability of the results. Another study, ecological design, children treated for streptococcus pneumonia infection. So at individual level, the reduced, they found that reduced carriage of erythromycin-resistant and multidrug-resistant strains during and after treatment with amoxicillin clavulinate. Increased carriage of erythromycin resistant and multidrug resistant strains during and after treatment with azithromycin and oral cephalosporin. Ecological level, they found that 30% decrease in overall antibiotic use in kids between 1998 to 2003, but increase in oral cephalosporin and more than 11-fold increase in azithromycin use, no change in penicillin resistance, increase in erythromycin resistance, and multidrug resistance. Reduction in overall antibiotic use insufficient to reduce resistance, likely must reduce specific classes, but only looked at the antibiotic use in children in one region. So this is example of, of how we can cooperate individual data and ecological data. Types of ecological variables. 
analog of individual level characteristic. So these data are based on uh, aggregate measures uh, of individual data, overall antibiotic use, prevalence of disease, mean of saturated fat intake. It could be environmental measures, air pollution. Global health measures are different. They, they are not based on individual level. You could start with healthcare system, gun control law, herd immunity. All these are not based on individual. Discrepancy due to ecological versus individual level design. So this is a challenging question. Can we find different results when we conduct on the same study individual data versus ecological data? This is an example. The first study examined antibiotic exposure for classes and resistance in a U.S. hospital between 1994 and 1998. Ecological analysis, null for all four. So in this study, in this ecological study, there was no association between the uh, four classes of antibiotics and the resistance. Individual level analysis on the found opposite results. They found a significant for all four classes, significant association between use and resistance. So this is an option. Another study by Don and et al. found, examined the exposure to trimethoprim and resistance. Practice level analysis, which is in group or a group level data or ecological data, they found no association. However, at individual level analysis, they found a significant association, okay? So, so what to choose, ecological or individual data? In order to solve this problem, we have three options. The first option is to conduct a multi-level analysis. Incorporate individual and ecological measures in the same analysis. Separate individual and contextual effect. So we can have data on patient level, data on aggregate level, and we combine them in the same analysis in a multi-level analysis way. Second option is contextual analysis. Use individual level outcomes and add both individual and group exposure predictors to the model. This is, can be done statistically. The third option is to conduct mixed effect modeling, accounting for all clustering of the data. So we have individual data and we cluster them based on certain groups to compare them in a mixed effect modeling. All these can be done in a statistical analysis methods to combine both data and validate our results. So the best option when we conduct an ecological data and to avoid fa fa um, ecological fallacy is to conduct individual studies, aggregate study, and use one of these methods to validate our results. So, when ecological studies are the design of choice, when the level of inference of interest is at the population level, so for example, we're going to discuss the food availability. It's already the question or the outcome of interest is on population level. When the variability of exposure within the population is limited, so Within the, expo within the certain population, there is no variability in exposure. However, there is a variability in exposure among different populations. Salt intake and hypertension. People uh, with a high salty diet living in, for example, next to the sea, are more prone to high salt diet. Fat intake and breast cancer. This is usually variable among populations, not within the same population in terms of uh, variations. This is to consider also in uh, planning for ecological study design.